Good morning, my friends. It's Monday, June 5th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. In this St. John's Bible, we have this depiction of the words, I am the resurrection and the life. A flash of darkness, but then there is this dark figure rising up, and the figure is gazing at a light, but the light looks like time. It looks like a clock fascinating depiction of how the resurrection occurred in time. And to the left of the figure, there are these creatures. I'll go in closer so you can see them. Bugs and birds and things coming alive. Morning is breaking and resurrection is occurring. We continue this morning in the Gospel of Luke. Luke is talking about Jesus, telling the disciples a few things. He says, for one, don't let other people stumble. Don't let my children stumble. It would be better if a millstone were hung around your neck and you were thrown into the sea. So don't hurt people. Don't cause them to fall away from God. If someone wrongs you, Bring it out, and if they say they're sorry, if they repent, then forgive them. Even if they do it seven times in one day, Jesus says. What do we do that could cause someone to be hurt? To shame them? To confront them in a way that causes them to run from God? Or to blame others? We have to be careful, even if we're wronged, that our actions don't bring about more pain. God still holds us accountable, even when we've been the victim. That's hard to fathom because when things go wrong and someone hurts us, we tend to think of it as being the fault of the other, but we are still held accountable for our own behavior. So be kind, be gentle, don't lean into retribution, or shame or violence of any kind, but forgive and remember that your behavior still is important to God. Even if the other person deserves you to be mean, don't stoop that low because you're too important. You're too precious and the other person is precious too. Don't cause my children to stumble, says the Lord. No matter what happens, forgive. Let us pray. Almighty God, you call us to be better people. You call us to forgive no matter what, and you call us to be accountable for our behavior, not to lose our temper or get retribution, and it's so hard. But we thank you. We thank you for demanding the best of us. We thank you for holding us accountable to be your children. We ask that you would bless this whole world today, Lord, and especially to comfort those who struggle or suffer, those who are in pain, those who are lonely, those who are in need of prayer, those who struggle with addiction or mental illness of any kind. We ask that you would call us into your service today, Lord. We ask that you would grant peace to this world, the whole world, all the countries of the earth, our cities, our governments. And we ask that you would give us a reverence for this beautiful earth that you have made, that we might use its resources wisely with care and concern for others. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your son, who asks so much of us, but gave us even more. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.